President Obama plans to relaunch his agenda during his State of the Union address on Wednesday. He'll focus on the economy, jobs, and regaining the momentum he has lost. ZBS News Senior White House Correspondent Bill Plant has more. Good morning, Bill. Good morning, Harry. The president today will preview some of those messages in the State of the Union. He wants to double the child care tax credit. He wants to have people who pay, repay student loans repay them with a cap according to income. And he wants all employers to offer an IRA savings option. The president is on the defensive. He's trying to reconnect with millions of Americans who voted for change but feel that they didn't get it. Typically. David Plouffe, an He's architect of President Obama's government. 2008 victory, has been called back to oversee Democrats' campaign strategy for the 2010 midterm election. Plouffe wrote Sunday in the Washington Post, If Democrats do what the American people sent them to Washington to do, November will be nothing like the nightmare that talking heads have forecast. A Washington Post poll shows that almost two-thirds of brown voters in Massachusetts were upset by the Democrats' agenda, including health care reform. President Obama has essentially lost his real political base, which is the center. And congressional Democrats yeah. are feeling the heat. I think more than anything, the voters there said, get busy in Washington, do something about the economy. But the White House insists it won't abandon the fight for health care reform. We have to find a way to get this done. Uh, first of all, because it's the right thing for the country. But I think politically, were we to walk away now, uh, you know, it would be devastating. White House Press Secretary Robert Gibbs was on the defensive, blaming the Bush administration. What we inherited when we walked in the door was an economic situation that was far worse than anybody ever knew. Nobody wanted to give money to stabilize the financial system. Nobody wanted to ensure that two auto companies in this country didn't go out of business and go bankrupt and we lose several hundred thousand more jobs. On top of all that, if the president weren't so busy around here, State of the Union message coming up on all that, he would have another appointment today, jury duty back home in Illinois. The summons from Cook County came to his home in Chicago, but he's apparently been excused. Harry? <laughs> Maybe he'd prefer not to be. Bill Plant, thank you very much.